it is time to travel around Maryville. So if you're thinking about Maryville, what's it like? Let's drive around and go check it out. So we are in a Maryville neighborhood. We are just past the city line, so we're in Blount County, still Maryville, but not in Maryville City, which means you only pay Maryville taxes, not um, both city and county taxes. This neighborhood, you have mostly brick homes, you have quite a few ranchers, and like this house right here behind me, this is actually, um, some clients of mine are purchasing this house, and it is currently going to close in a couple days, right in the low 400s because it does have some work to be done so typically what you're going to find here with this type of house is going to be a mid 400 this location is highly desirable because we're 12 minutes from target but again we only have the county taxes so you can just tell and what's also nice about this specific neighborhood is that um it is just quiet it's relatively flat it's not crazy mountainous and then as you get further out in the county you get more like one-off homes or smaller neighborhoods. And then I also wanna show you what's interesting about this house in particular is, and you kind of see this in Maribel. I'm trying to make sure I don't fall on the ice. Like my car slid on the ice. We just had this, at the time I'm recording this, we just had like some of the most cold weather that we've seen. Normally I probably wouldn't be this like invasive on a house, but this is my client's house, so it's fine. Um, but that being said, what I want to show you is, check this out. There's literally a farm back here. So we have like super nice neighborhood and then there's a farm. So that kind of idea is characteristic of what you're going to see further out in the county, in Blount County, um, whether you go towards Loudoun or Sevier counties, um, the further you get out, obviously the more rural that you're going to get. But again, what people love about this area is that we're only looking at county taxes, but you're still super close to all the things. Specifically, the target is 12 minutes. All right, so this is, like I said, a nice Maryville neighborhood. You're looking about mid fours, um, mid 400s, depending on specifically the features of the house, obviously square footage. The larger the house, the more expensive. Um, but this again, super nice area. This is pretty customary of something that you would see in Maryville. Notice these homes are newer. There's obviously, you know, older type stuff, but this is a, you know, pretty nice as well established neighborhood. And we are going to head towards uh, the city whichever way we go we're gonna get there but I'm gonna take you this way so you can just kind of see you'll also see um, I've had a, quite a few clients that really want like a nice neighborhood not that Maryville doesn't have those but I will say you do see a lot of these kind of one-off homes on a two-lane road um, with a double yellow line and I only mention that because again I have um, a lot of people that are relocating here like this idea of a neighborhood well you can find that, but I am just saying you want to Google map the houses that you find because what I've found is that a lot of clients have found houses um, and they liked them, but if we would have just looked at Google Maps and seen that, oh, it's not like this is, that's technically part of a neighborhood. This is a DR Horton neighborhood right here. Super small little um, neighborhood. And then this is also like, you know, typical of just seeing a church and then, I mean, you just, it's definitely more, it's not the city, if you know what I'm saying. But my point was, if you are wanting a neighborhood, my suggestion would be to go and Google map whatever it is that you're looking at, because that's going to tell you very quickly whether or not it's the kind of vibe that you want in terms of neighborhood or not. Also, if you're wanting walkability, then you certainly want to look for a neighborhood. Maryville, I don't think is walkable. Uh, if you're right downtown, you will find that, but otherwise you're not really going to find that in Maryville. 
So this is us heading back towards the city. Uh, and again, you're just seeing, you know, random one-off homes on the road. This is a neighborhood within the city limits. Notice that we're seeing huge yards. This definitely has a village green Farragut vibe, but we're in Maryville. Just really gorgeous, nice houses, more established, giant yards. Um, and we are within the city. Look at this one, so good. With the double garages, I mean, it's huge. So just really nice neighborhood. And this is pretty customary of a more established neighborhood. Obviously these homes are 1990s, some 1980s and 70s, so yeah. Don't want to disturb the children playing. Look at that one. It's beautiful. So just really nice. This to me feels like Maryville. Just really quaint, nice homes. Check out the mountains. So again, one-off homes on the side of a street, first of all. But I want to show you this neighborhood trotwood farms and there are some just gorgeous homes here that i just have to show you because i just think they're beautiful um again this is certainly luxury real estate new homes oversized homes brick finishes brick sorry high-end finishes just really nice really well done also notice here we have the sidewalk so, just very nice properties and real estate. This is Trotwood Farms. Small neighborhood, but large yards, super well established, really nice. So, I love old houses, and Maryville has a really cute, like, historic um, district. And um, I mean, just like gorgeous houses. So I'm gonna take you to see some of those houses across the street. If you see that, that's Merrill College, like through the woods. Um, so I wanna take you and just show you some of these awesome houses, super quaint, super cute. Again, that's Merrill College to my left. And we're gonna turn into the historic district now. So you can see this is Indiana Avenue. And I mean, these houses are just literally so cute, so nice. I love them. So if you are an old house person, you definitely want to check out the historic district of Maryville, Clark Street, Court Street, just gorgeous homes. And what I also love is there are sidewalks here. So it's kind of one of my Favorite. All right, we are coming up on the middle school. It's not a middle school. It's their junior high. They have a Maryville Junior High and that then there is Maryville High School. So this is 789, I believe, Maryville Junior High. I should know that like the back of my hand. I believe it's 789. So that's Maryville Junior High. Um, and we are going to also pass by the high school. What's cool also here about this area is you do have some walking trails that go through uh, the community from essentially downtown. There's a walking trail that kind of, oh, I just missed the turn. I wanted to turn and show you that. Like I said, we have some parks and walking trails, greenways system through Maryville. And as you're seeing now, there's actually people walking out. People are trying to get out because it's been freaking cold the past couple days. And I mean, you know, it's just people want to be outside and the sun's out. So here we're seeing, we're just kind of just past the historic district. So we're seeing, you know, some older homes, um, 1950s, 1960s, 1970s builds. 
but still super nice noting that there are not sidewalks but we are heading to the kind of major i don't want to say shopping area but basically where there's a bunch of stuff and i also want to show you the high school but this is just another example of neighborhoods and this idea of homes just kind of like right off the street um you see that quite a bit here i mean obviously like i said there are neighborhoods but just google map it make sure it's kind of the atmosphere and the vibe that you want all right so we are at one of the major 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 Maryville intersections there's a couple things i want to point out to you first of all this is west broadway in 411 so back there is 411 321 so that's like that's going to Chapman Highway. That's going to towards South Knox. That will take you straight to Seymour, Townsend, Walland, all that way. If you were to hit, uh, if you were to go north, that's going to take you to the airport. So Alcoa is literally just down the road, but that's also where the target is that way. Um, so where we are now, though, this is a huge intersection, obviously in Maryville. And something that's really awesome about Maryville is they have gyms. So directly behind me is the National Fitness. I actually used to teach there, Les Mills Body Pump, Body Combat, Body Attack. What else did I teach? Body Flow. Listen, all the body, all the Les Mills classes. I had like nine certifications. So that's not a joke. I loved it and I miss it. That's not what this video is about. Okay, so anyways, we're in Maryville. The other thing that's really nice about Maryville is it's got this small town feel, but it does have big box gyms. There's a, also a bar studio. There's Pilates studios. There's literally a Chick-fil-A 30 seconds down the road. It's got clean eats. It's got gas stations, libraries. Uh, why did I say gas stations and libraries? It's got stuff to do, okay? It's got a Smoky Mountain Brewery. There's a Calhoun's here. There's, um, I mean, places to eat, places to drink, and the downtown is super cute. So, I mean, even just seeing here, you can tell that obviously Maryville is booming and there is stuff to do. So just wanted to show you, this is kind of my old stomping grounds when I used to teach here, obviously, but also wanted to show you that, you know, Maryville to me is like the most civilization that you're gonna get outside of Knoxville, if you will. Like Oak Ridge is a close rival, but I just prefer Maryville. I think it's a little bit bigger and you have, to me, better views here. And also I just like, kind of the option the coffee shop it's got this good small town vibe whereas i feel like oak ridge doesn't have that as much but when it, when i do the oak ridge video you'll see what i'm talking about and maybe that's a better fit so yeah terrible so major intersection here that goes towards knoxville alcoa we're gonna go straight because i want to show you the high school and some more awesome super cute houses sorry camera um so we're headed to the High school, Maryville High School. So Maryville has, Maryville City and Blount County, even though Maryville sits within Blount County, Maryville City has its own schools. So that's primary, uh, elementary, junior high, and, or maybe it's intermediate. I need to check my facts. Um, but we are right now within Maryville City. So the schools that I'm showing you, these are Maryville City schools. I also just want you to take a look at some of the houses that we're gonna pass by. So some of this is residential and some of this is commercial. Um, this house right here is my fave. That one, the blue one, love it, love it. But again, some of these are commercial, some are residential. Just a mix here. Um, this is one of my favorite streets just because I love the houses on this street. Actually, there's another good house up here on the left too. So we're headed towards the high school and to downtown. This is um, not horrible traffic, but we are getting towards kind of that time of the day. So, I mean, just like super cute little boutiques and shops, just like a nice vibe. I do think in the spring, this will probably be prettier, but I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna make you wait, you know? So this is the high school. Look at that house. Bam, so good. Okay, focus. This is the stadium, Maryville High School Stadium right there. And it would help if I could get the mirror out of the way. But the high school, you can see it there to the right. And uh, yeah, I feel like, yeah, that's the high school. There you go. So this intersection, this is basically if i were to go left this is another really big maribel intersection we're going straight to downtown if i go right that's headed towards 
Townsend, Wallen, the mountains. If I go left, that's further into, that's basically going southwest towards like Loudoun County, Vaughn, or the lake, Teleco. But we're gonna go straight. And actually, if I just kept going straight for about 25 minutes, I'd be in Seymour. Offices, boutiques. I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite coffee shops. And what I love about downtown Maryville is we're starting to see more like restaurants coming in and that makes me literally so happy um, because that I feel like it's kind of been dead down here a little bit and stuff has struggled. Um, so I'm gonna park and walk you around just a little bit but like this um, restaurant here, Diamond Jack is new. Super excited for that and then there is um, a new place up here called Bella and they have brunch which actually I think Diamond Jack and Bella both have brunch and for a long time there was no brunch. This is a Blue Tick, Blue Tick Tavern. We are in downtown Maribel. We're on Broadway Avenue. This is like the Broadway Avenue. I think Main Street. So we are officially like downtown downtown. This is like the original downtown Maribel. I don't think I have you up high enough for this so you can see. So you can see that we've got sidewalks, we've got restaurants, we've got stuff to do um, on either side. There's also a um, a like bar studio here. There's some restaurants and something that's super awesome is there are now a couple brunch places, one of which is Bella, which I'm gonna show you. You can hear this car is like super loud, so please hold. Okay, so now we're walking down Broadway. Behind me is a new restaurant called Diamond Jack, and they are new. I love it that they first of all are here because number one, it means things are happening and popping and growing, but they are a wine and like specialty, like foods and cocktails and stuff like that. So super cool. They also have a brunch, which is new here. Um, I don't know if you watch TikTok, but they're like, are you new here? Also, I just saw this sign. Look at this, coming soon commercial and residential 2024. Hey, Maribel. So that's exciting. Um, Maribel downtown, just super cute, super cool place. Look at this little photo feature. Um, it's so cute. Look, one for you, one for your kid. You see um, that one over there? So also we have Bella. There's a new restaurant here. It's in the old like theater. These cars are so freaking loud. I will say that irritates me. I think because I live on Chapman Highway, it literally drives me bonkers. Um, it's like super not necessary. So ice cream parlor here, just super cute. This is Blue Tick Tavern, another place to watch TV, hang out. That actually used to be a Barley's. It's been a couple things. And I've actually not been in it since it became Blue Tick. Uh, so definitely a place to try. And then this is Bella, super new. People have raved about it. So um, again, this is another new place here in Maribel. So definitely a place that you would wanna try. And they have brunch. So that's a little bit of downtown. I'm gonna take you over to Vienna Coffee, which is also downtown. It's one of my favorites. Okay, so we are still downtown Maribel. I wanted to show you these new construction townhouses. They are about 1,100 square feet, two stories. Um, so it's like two per whatever. Um, per building, 450,000, brand new construction, will be completed in 2023, and they're downtown. So that's just an example of another option for real estate. We don't often see a ton of townhouse options downtown, and I love that that is currently being built here in Maryville, so pretty cool. Also, they are, they're called the Mill House, I think, on Pistol Creek, because, I don't know if you can see this, but behind me is a creek, and there's also a walkway, so that's something else that's super cool about Maryville. The other thing I wanna point out to you is there are some, like, apartments, brown apartments back there in the distance, and there's a bridge. Okay, so this is what's so confusing about Maryville and Alcoa. Just across that bridge is Alcoa, but we're currently standing <laughs> in Maribel. So that's a little bit confusing and even sometimes now I'm like, I don't know where I am, I just know that I'm in the Maribel Alcoa area and sometimes that's enough, you know? Sometimes you don't have to exactly know exactly where you are, you know? So anyhow, like I said, Alcoa, literally right over there. But we are in Maribel and these are some new construction townhouses, super cool, super glad to see them coming in. So just some more of downtown. I wanna show you back behind me and I'm showing you this for a reason because it took me forever to realize they even had a drive-through. But behind me, 
That building is Vienna Coffee and it's some of the best coffee. I'm telling you that you're gonna find. It is so good. Uh, and I know this is so weird, but they have some of the best like decaf Americano that I've ever had. Super cute boutique here, Dandelion, so cute. So we're still in downtown, but we're one street over from that main Broadway Avenue. We are currently on Church Avenue. Again, it runs parallel. And also we are super, super close to Maryville College. So much so that if I look, almost went straight down the street, we would run into Maryville College. So Vienna Coffee, love this place, love everything they do. Super cool vibe, really great coffee and just a good atmosphere, love it. Alright, so I got a decaf Americano. It's decaf because it's after noon. Literally the time, like one, two, noon. It's after the time of noon. So I can't be drinking no freaking caffeine. Although back in the day I used to drink caffeine until like 10 p.m. Can't do it anymore. So decaf Americano with a little bit of gingerbread flavor. So good. Okay, I want to show you some of my favorite. Uh, Maribel restaurants one of which is Foothills Milling so it's directly behind me and I'm telling you I know it doesn't look like much I'm telling you also their sangria is the bomb they have some of the best bread ever their entrees on freaking point we're just outside downtown like downtown is literally a couple streets over and now I also want to show you again I know I showed you this in this other video but literally like see that bridge across that bridge that's Alcoa so the line between where Maryville is and where Alcoa is, is extremely freaking blurry, okay? Like even like the Dick's Sporting Goods and all that, I think I'm pretty sure that's technically Alcoa, but you wouldn't know that. Like it's a Panera, it's all these things. Okay, and I also want to show you, sorry, cement truck, but Maryville is not necessarily walkable, even though like I'm walking there right now. Um, so I want to show you this other restaurant. This other restaurant, it's called Walnut Kitchen and basically it's the same. Okay. Walnut Kitchen is the OG, but there's also the Appalachian and the Appalachian is a restaurant in downtown Super Bowl Pigeon Forge on Bruce Street, but Walnut Kitchen is the same people. So I'm going to show it to you and it's so good. It's another awesome date night place. Okay. So like I said, look. Walnut Kitchen. This is it. And this is another like awesome place for date night. Um, if you want like a swanky meal, if you want great wine, a Walnut Kitchen, you got to come here. Like I said, this is like the sister to, or I should say the big sister to the Appalachian, which is in downtown Sevierville Pigeon Forge on Bruce Street. So Walnut Kitchen, the milling company, both of them so good. Okay, so we're continuing to walk down Washington. I'm walking because I want to give you a good view of Maryville College and I don't think I can do it from my car. But I also want to tell you, this building right here, that's the Boys and Girls Club. And I've been in there before for a wrestling match. One of the local wrestling promotions, they, I don't know if they still actually use that building, but they were holding their wrestling events there and i wrestled a unicorn and obviously hazel the ringmaster won which is me if you don't know about that i spent a hot minute wrestling so go check that out go check out hazel the ringmaster you know, lacey evans against Haley jones here tonight one-on-one -on, -one on friday night but anyway that building i had the match of my life not really but it was fun and i think it was actually the last time i wrestled before COVID. I'm 99% sure it was my last match before COVID happened. And like, obviously, you know, the world shut down. So I think that could have been my last match, which is a little bit sad to me because I don't know. Everyone's like, you should get back into it. I'm like, should I? And I talked to my coach, Dr. Tom, 
and he's like, Haley, you're too old. So here I am, <laughs> making videos about Maribel, which is totally fine. And then randos honking at me. Okay, let's talk about Maribel College. So Maribel College, obviously right behind me, this is um, to me a sister of like Carson Newman. Carson Newman is in Jefferson City. That's where I went and I was a Bonner Scholar. Maribel College also has Bonner Scholar. So I think of them as super similar private liberal arts small school. I think Maribel College is Methodist. You gotta fact check that, okay? Um, but super beautiful campus, super historical, like very quaint. And then also what's interesting is, what's cool about Maribel College that is not at Carson Newman is, Maribel College is like within literally a city where there's stuff to do. Carson Newman does not have that. Um, but also literally like directly back that way, that's the historic district I was talking about. Um, and then you have super nice homes super nice neighborhoods but if we kept going down this way that would take us straight to like Townsend Wall into the mountains and then if I went straight this way that would take me to Von Orr towards Selico Village etc so to the lake so that's Marvel College it's beautiful check it out here we are the Marvel Target literally we are seconds away from Alcoa if I go down the road just that way, Alcoa Highway, I will be on Alcoa. I'll be in Alcoa and I'll be at like Dick's Sporting Goods. But this Target, this shopping center, this is officially Maryville. Notice we have a Home Goods, we have a Rack Room Shoes, Five Below, there's an Ulta, a Kirkland's, and obviously Target. Also, I want to point out that there's Calhoun's and Smoky Mountain Brewery back here. The Home Depot is right over there. And then also the mall is there is a mall here in Maryville and it's literally like a minute that way. I'm going to show you that as well. So this is something that I really love about Maryville is the fact that there's a Target, there's places to go, there's places to eat, you can shop, there's little boutiques, there's tiny coffee shops, and they also have Starbucks. So I feel like you got options here. You know what I mean? So yeah, this is one of the major shopping places in Maryville. I'm going to take you over to the mall. Yeah, so do you see what is behind me? What is behind me is known as the shed and it is part of Smoky Mountain Harley Davidson. I think it's Smoky Mountain Harley Davidson, but I brought you here because this is super unique to, Mar to Maryville. Like a lot of the Harley Davidson stores, like the one in Knoxville, they have a concert venue, but this one is like the most, I don't know if famous is the right word, but it's definitely the one that people like come to as a destination. So I brought you here because that Harley Davidson store is super nice, but also like I myself have been to a concert here I think it was like an ACDC cover band so when people say the shed this is definitely a unique concert venue a cool place and it's in Maryville so I brought you to show you that but I also wanted to show you the mountains and I'm hoping that you can see them because I feel like from here there's a really good view but obviously there's this Harley Davidson sign there and then the mountains I don't know if you can tell but all of the mountains all right there so awesome views smoky mountain harley davidson definitely a cool place even if you're not even like a harley davidson person the store is super cool i knew nothing about harley davidson until i married my husband and he has a sports store and then, then i went to a bike week and i was like what is happening with my life but that being said it's kind of cool and like i said this is a super cool event venue so definitely a place to check out even if it's not really necessarily you wouldn't ever think like, oh, I'm going to Harley Davidson concert. I'm telling you, it's super cool, it's super fun. So here's the mall. I'm gonna just do a loop-de-loo. -loop. I feel like um, I don't need to get out and talk about it simply because, um, okay, I'm not trying to slam the mall. I'm just saying it's not like it's Buckhead, Lenox Square, Atlanta. You know what I mean? I don't even think this JCPenney's is still in business. It looks closed. I don't even know. And truth be told, the only place I've actually been here at this mall is the Cancun, the Mexican restaurant. Um, so I can't even actually tell you that this is like the best place to shop because I myself don't really go here. Um, obviously you can tell there's a movie theater and I think this is like I'm pretty sure this is the movie theater in Maryville, this AMC. Like this is where you would go to see movies. Um, and if you can tell, there is the little Mexican restaurant, Cancun. They have a really good chicken pita quesadilla, or at least they used to back in the day, TJ Maxx. So 
I mean, the mall has a TJ Maxx, which means it's not like it's freaking awesome. So, I mean, no shade, Foothills. I'm just telling it like it is. Uh, I don't even know what this used to be or what's coming in there. Uh, so, anyways, that is a little roundabout of the Foothills Mall in Maribel. So, this is more Maribel shopping. We are checking out. Actually, I'm going to get dinner at the Clean Eats. Hey, Hobby Lobby. Shout out to you. So, super huge Kroger Marketplace. This is a really nice Kroger. Um, so, I just want to shout that out. I also want to point out that you also see a Planet Fitness. So, again, with the gyms, we're actually super close to that National Fitness Center I showed you earlier. Um, literally, it's across the street, across that big street up there, which is kind of where I showed you earlier. So, yeah, just more Maribel. So, directly behind me is the Clean Eats. <laughs> And I love the Clean Eats because it's Clean Eats, which you're like, Haley. But I love that Maribel has it. I love what I'm here. I can pick us up dinner. And it's quick, easy, and it's good for you. There's also Jaboni's Pizzeria, but I've heard good things. But I've not actually been there. So shout out to Clean Eats. One of my favorite places to grab lunch or dinner in Maribel. And they also have like uh, pre-made meals. They do like meal prep stuff. Um, you do, I mean, obviously read the ingredients. You know what I'm saying? But like this is a quick place that I can get something that I like for me. Like salmon and some spinach. And I can get and some, I have goat cheese. Uh, and then I can get something for my husband that's like, you know, a burrito. And everyone's happy. Clean eats. It's the place to go in Maribel. Just saying. is heading out of Maryville going towards um, like Seymour and I just wanted to show you this is like an older part there's homes here that you know were built in like the 19 I don't know 30s but I also wanted to show you this Amici is a pizza this Amici is a pizza pasta and beer place and they also have a little like pop-up situation in Townsend so this is like the, I guess, east side of Maryville. And so these are more like older homes. I'm gonna take you down one of these streets so you can kind of just see what I'm talking about. This to me is, feels more like Alcoa, um, just because a lot of Alcoa is like older houses. But I just wanted to give you an idea of kind of like, you can find also like a more, like less expensive price point as well. Um, this is obviously within Maryville city limits. And again, we're kind of right on that cusp of Maryville Alcoa, but just kind of wanted to give you an idea of kind of, you know, more real estate options in Maryville beyond just, I showed you some of the more like fancier neighborhoods, but I also wanted to show you that there are older homes, some that have just are original and some that have been completely upgraded um and are you know whatever so just a nice mix of options when it comes to real estate so again just some older houses super cute so not necessarily historic district but definitely you've got the that feel so yeah a little more options to the hot 50s drive-in what is up all right, that concludes our Marivel vlog tour. I will say that every time I do these, I'm always worried that I'm leaving stuff out. For example, like I didn't drive by Denzo. I didn't take you to one of my favorite neighborhoods, Royal Oaks, which is a newer construction neighborhood. Um, we didn't see a lot of the countryside, but it's like, you know, how much is enough? I don't know. But that being said, if you feel like there's stuff I left out, obviously let me know. Or if you want to see spaces specific to you in Maribel, please let me know and I will show you. In the meantime, I'll see you on the next video.